New way to communicate tonight, so you might have to speak up until we got this figured out. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm honest. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. The, the REM pod. Did someone just light up that green light over there on the music box? Nope. What's your name? So I think the threshold is working. Can you say your name again? It all started with a video game. Oh, God, no! Oh, I'm running! I'm running! I'm sprinting! I'm sprinting! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now... Here we are, just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. The Northern Virginia region, beginning from the border of the District of Columbia and reaching as far south as Stafford, includes counties such as Loudoun, Prince William, Fauquier, and Rappahannock. Noteworthy cities include Alexandria, Arlington, Falls Church, Winchester, and Manassas. At one time, Northern Virginia was referred to as the Northern Neck, but is now more commonly called Nova. Northern Virginia is known today for its various technological corridors, serving as headquarters to a variety of major tech companies. But during the American Civil War, the region hosted many engagements on account of its proximity to Washington, D.C. and its importance in the railroad network. Ball's Bluff, an early battle fought in Loudoun County, northeast of Leesburg, was originally planned as a minor reconnaissance across the Potomac. A false report of an unguarded Confederate camp encouraged Brigadier General Charles Pomeroy Stone to order a raid, resulting in a full engagement with enemy forces. Boats attempting to cross back to Harrison Island were soon swamped and capsized. Bodies floated down river to Washington and even as far as Mount Vernon in the days following the battle. The Battle of Bristow Station, also known as Bristow Run, pitted Confederate forces under Major General Henry Heth against the Union's Army of the Potomac. Union artillery, including the battery of Captain R. Bruce Ricketts, opened fire on the Confederates. Despite this, Heth's men briefly secured a foothold but were driven back, losing five guns of a Confederate battery during the Federal counterattack. General Robert E. Lee is said to have cut off excuses for this defeat by saying, bury these poor men and let us say no more about it. Located and preserved as a national landmark, the Cannon Branch Fort is a historic American Civil War earthwork fortification. Details of its construction are not documented, but Cannon Branch is believed to have been built by Union Army forces to defend the nearby railroad lines, such as the ones secured during the Battle of Bristow Station. The site's history predates the 19th century, with recently discovered artifacts indicating Cannon Branch serving as a seasonal base camp by Native Americans. To date, 17 Native American archaeological sites have been identified within a two-mile radius of the earthwork fort. And finally, with rails leading to Richmond, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and the Shenandoah Valley, Manassas became a key battleground during the American Civil War. Despite Confederate victories in 1861 and 1862, the town and its valuable railroad junction remained in Union hands for most of the war. It was during the First Battle of Manassas 
that a Confederate brigade of Virginians under a relatively unknown brigadier general from the Virginia Military Institute, Thomas J. Jackson, stood its ground, resulting in Jackson earning his nickname Stonewall. These four locations within the Northern Virginia region are only a few of the numerous battlegrounds located in the Old Dominion and remain as important reminders of sacrifices made for the preservation of a nation. This is going to be a very different Old Spirits investigation because we're not doing just one location. No. This is the Northern Virginia Roundup, which means we are going to be going to a number of different locations. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be presenting a lot of clips, but for the first time, we're doing clips from different locations all around the Northern Virginia yes. area. Yeah. But we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to know what you hear in our clips, and we'd like to know if you catch anything in the clips that we don't catch on the show. So please like and subscribe to the channel, and while you're there, enable notifications to let you know whenever we put up new content. And if you want to share your thoughts on this particular episode and what you are seeing as you watch this episode, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. So it is now back to just us. And it's not going to stay that way for long, I don't think. Because it was fun having the ladies yeah. on. Yeah. And uh, we, we listened to our, our viewers. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're, we're doing great numbers on the... Do you do it with the lights on or the lights off? <laughs> and this is what's kind of cool about, about the clips we're going to be watching tonight. Most of them are in daylight. What would you define these types of investigations that were going on? Our backyard investigations probably is the best way I could summarize it. We are fortunate enough to live in an area that is located extremely close to many uh, of the major battlefields of the American Civil War. And I would define these as our impulse investigations, the ones where yeah. you call us up and you go, what you guys doing? What yeah. you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. you guys doing? Yeah. Got your go bag ready? Got your go yeah. bag ready? And yeah. of course, I'm packing my go bag as I yeah, go. Yeah, of course yeah, it's ready. Of course ready. Yeah, course ready. ready. Yeah. So that's, that's, and so what, what I've done is I've taken, because we were, we were hopping at one point while I was editing season one, we were hopping off to these little impulsive investigations. We yes. But for, but for the first location, <laughs> we're going back to actually what got me roped into this and what was your first venture out yeah. Balls Bluff so yeah. what can you tell Which me about I've Balls I've talked Bluff? about so many many times on Don't Turn Around mm -hmm. I've talked about here but this is really where I decided to, I was going to use as a location to try it out right to see if investigation was something I wanted to do so this was like your Quantico this is like your proving ground Balls oh, Bluff oh yeah, yeah 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 however you want to describe it that's <laughs> what it was that was my initial experience of talking into the ether Right. And feeling a little bit silly doing so. So this clip is by request. You brought this spirit box hit over to my house and said, I want to play something for yeah. you. And this was where you kind of planted the seed for, hey, let's do this thing at Belgrove. Are you a here? So who is Tom? So Tom is a voice that has come through multiple times on the spirit box. Same, same voice. And so I've come to at least believe that there is a spirit there that goes by the name of Tom. May have been a soldier. There were several Thomases that, um, but short, short numbers uh, that were involved in that battle. But it was one of the first voices I heard out there on the spirit box and coming back there on multiple visits. Tom always seems to pop up. So whenever I go out there, I always ask, you know, is Tom out here? This is another spirit box. This one I had not heard before. You want you went on ahead and you brought this out as one of your best ofs from Balls Bluff. Oh. Again, you can tell this is early on in us 
started, well, I should say it's early on for you because you were basically armed with a spirit box and a digital recorder, and that's, that's pretty, pretty much, much it. it. That's, which, which again goes back to you know you don't need a lot to get started you in don't. this. But this was uh, an early capture for you, also a boss bluff. Okay. Was the battle frightening? Were you scared? Now, has the spirit box always been that busy for you out in At Balls, Balls Bluff? Bluff? Yes. Really? 100%. The frequency of responses that came from the device uh, and, the, um, and the relevance to the location are some of the, the best that I've had. And I think that's why I initially fell in love <laughs> with the spirit box, with the SP7. <laughs> right. Because it was delivering messages that seemed... Through the, you know, still while remaining skeptical, but relevant. Now, speaking of spirit boxes, uh, this is a, <laughs> a, a, a touching video of a two dads. A touching video of two dads that are like, directions, directions. We can figure this out on our own in the dark at Ball's Bluff. Yeah. As I said earlier. In the rain. In the rain. In the rain. Let's not forget the rain. As I said earlier, you, you kind of look at, uh, at, at, Ball's Bluff is your Quantico, your proving grounds. Yeah. And that's where you said, oh, wow, so we're going to take the, uh, the, the SB11. But uh, this was our first night. You can tell it's also our first night because both Channel 1 and Channel 2 are on FM uh, because they're both yeah, in the red. Yeah. Uh, this is, though, when this was actually, I think, my first visit. This was my this first visit. This was your visit. first visit. Yes, it was. In the rain, at night, yeah. and we're testing out equipment that I've never used before. Right. Let's see how things go. Let <laughs> me turn up the... Can we change the switch rate? Do you have any... Uh, Sweep rate in this one. Slow it down on that one. Mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to change the, I'm going to change the sweep rate. Tip asked me to get a bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the video. Oh, that was close. That came through. True pro level at this point. Oh my gosh, we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Not a thing. clue. And it's such a dead thing. Yeah, uh, do that. Do that over here. You try in that button. <laughs> here's, here's a soccer race. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will say that before the night was out, we did manage to figure out how to manipulate the sweep yes. rate, how to get it going forwards and backwards, how to get one on FM, one on AM. Yeah. We, we got it all figured out, but the, the spirit box was not the only one that was busy that night. No. That was the interesting thing about Ball's Block. And honestly, watching <clears throat> through this too, there were things that we missed because we were so focused on how the directions make this thing work. <laughs> the the six point font directions, yeah, yeah. which I did talk about in the review. Yeah, okay. I was like, I was like, look, you can't do that. Like you, you are you gatekeeping based on age? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> but this is what we caught uh, later on in the evening. New way to communicate tonight, so you might have to speak up until we got this figured out. <laughs> At least I'm honest. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. The, the REM pod. Did someone just light up that green light over there on the music box? Nope. What's your name? So I think the threshold. Is I don't think I can actually. Can you say your one. name again? <laughs> I think I it might have been. I caught that one. I think it might have been messing with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught it. Don't worry, I caught it. Yeah. I was like, I was like, this thing just said Phil. <laughs> and you know what though, T? I, some of the spirits out there, after being out there on so many different visits, there is at least a, a small contingent that has a little bit of mischief in mind. Oh, really? We actually went back to Ball's Bluff with the ladies. We brought our wives. And this... Double, double date. Double date. It was, a, it was a double paranormal date. And uh, we were actually trying out, again, proving grounds. We were trying out something new, uh, something that we have already covered in a five-minute paranormal at this time, which is where your wife and my wife and you all hazed me over the, the powerful green light that I had mounted on the side of my camera. Yeah. This was where I was testing it out for the first yeah. time. And you... 
Yeah, if you want to step away from that, what did you just say? North, Car North Carolina? North Carolina. Are you from North Carolina? Are you from the North Carolina regiments? South Carolina. I think I said South Carolina as well. South Carolina. South Carolina? Okay, step away. Step away. Step away from that. South Carolina is a beautiful state. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you very much for that. We appreciate it. That was something that I was so impressed with because we had said North Carolina. Pippet said North Carolina, dead quiet. Yeah. The minute she switched to South Carolina, Mel lit up. And I didn't realize when <clears throat> this was going on because Tina and I were off kind of in a, in a different spot. You were getting, the, you the near the, the cemetery. Yeah, we're closer right? to the cemetery. Right. Now, I do have to ask, and this might be a follow-up mm -hmm. where we can drop it in the comments. Have we verified if the Carolinas were ever stationed there? I have not, but I'm sure we can, before this goes live, before this episode goes live, we can address it in the, in the description. We could probably address it mm -hmm. in a five-minute paranormal for, as a follow-up. Yeah. So this is one of the uh, shorter clips that we have in the night. But what I did was that I, I wanted to go on ahead and put in the original audio. Okay. Then back it up with the enhanced audio so you can hear what I hear. Is that? That's my, uh, it was, it's probably this, uh, it's probably this thing. Now the enhanced. Is that? That's my, uh, it was, it's probably this, uh, it's probably this thing. say that is one of the that is one of the more ominous EVPs that we've ever caught. Well, you even hear sort of the like a whistle tooth kind of sound on uh -huh. the second one. I mean, there's an, there is an intent behind that voice, and it it was it was actually a, an EVP that kept me up at night. And then when I was preparing this clip, I wanted to I did a, I did something just for you, my boo, just for me, just for you because I know how much. You love nerdy things about audio. I do. So oh. this is the Summon Her clip, the one we just played, mm -hmm. and I'm running it through Adobe Audition. Which what I, I want recognize you... I just started playing with Audition. Exactly. And I like it. Well, I want you to notice uh, the, uh, the, the, spectral, the, the spectral display at the bottom. Yep. Wherever there is sound, as you can see, it, it corroborates with the sound above. Yep. But I want you to pay particular notice to the two circled areas right there. Mm -hmm. And then when this clip starts playing, nice. I want you to watch what happens. Nice, nice, nice. Is that? That's my, uh, it was, it's probably this, uh, it's probably this thing. Not only did the EVP get caught by the recorder, but it also is showing yeah, up yeah. on the spectral breakdown. Which is fascinating. And I love I love the spectral view. Yes. Because it's really, it's a heat map based on frequency. This is what I want to hear because I'm still teaching myself some of the yeah. nuances of, of audition. But the fact that it was actually loud enough to be picked up by, yeah. by uh, audition's uh, spectral display. Yeah. That that really feels like a verification. Mm -hmm. But here's what's interesting too. too. <clears throat> I didn't pick that up on my recorders. On any of your recorders? Nope. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. So again, you were chosen I, <laughs> with a very specific I task. I, I have a certain set of yes. skills, and I really wish they wouldn't choose no, me at times like this when the yeah. sun is setting. You know, but oh, the sun is long gone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're actually you're absolutely right. That was a full moon I shot that night. It was. So this is one of the earliest, if not one of the first visits that I made to Bristow Run. Uh, this is with uh, Pip, myself, and our daughter. Mm -hmm. And we have stopped at what is, as far as we can tell, it's a family graveyard oh, in the middle of Bristow Run. Okay. And uh, I was also, it was also new to the flux. And as you can see, I've got the flux turned up to a pretty wide uh, yeah. field. It's yeah. about, it's looking four, it's like, it's looking four feet in either direction. And we got this hit, and I, I thought it was a, it, it kind of set the tone, at least at the family graveyard, of, of how well received we were at Bristow Run. Okay. Okay. No. 
know. Okay, then let's then, then let's let's start let's start at the beginning. Do you want to talk to us? Oh, nope, nope. That, that, that was, I don't know if that was a no, no, or if that was a... I'm going to let it reset to blue. And then answer the question again, please. Yeah. We just want to be sure. It's really saying something over here. It's saying there's something over here. It's picking up something over there. There's nothing moving over there. There's nothing moving over there. Saying no, like don't talk to us and slow no color. Well, there's another way we can test that. Another way we can test that. Do you want us to leave? Green light for yes, red light for wow. <laughs> we want you to leave now. And I think this was the, one of the first times I said to you. Why don't you consider leaving those questions for the end of the discussion? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This was early on. This was early on. It was, it was. I will say this, though, real quick. I was so proud of our daughter because this was, I believe, her first time heading out with us on something impulsive like this. She jumped right in. She jumped right in. Could not be prouder of her. If you take a look at, at this, uh, if you take a look at this at this image of the, from your camera of the actual run itself, you'll notice that it looks like sort of there's some structures yeah. in the left-hand side. It's because there are. If you look straight through the trees, you can actually see the subdivision yeah. that brushes right yeah. on the edge yeah. of Bristow Run. Yeah. And the group Preservation Virginia came back and said, hold on a second, that's a battlefield. And there was a compromise where they were like, okay, well, we'll only take up this much. And, and, and don't worry, if we find anything, we'll let you know. But I actually have a friend who lives in that subdivision. And when I said I was getting into paranormal investigation, she went, oh, you gotta come by my house sometimes, totally We honest. still have to do that. We still have to do that. I have her number, I'm gonna give her a call. We're gonna have to figure out some time to when do that. When we're done with this, you're gonna call her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, is that, is that invitation yeah. still open? Because we can be over in three <laughs> true well it's pretty active from what she tells me in the neighborhood because again their neighbors not the most quiet hundred and that was your yeah, I'm trying the eye obvious app <laughs> Other spring. spring here. Hmm. And that was the Ovulus, that was the iOvulus app. Yes. And I was wondering as I was putting this clip together, I was wondering if it said spring here. I was wondering if it actually meant the run. It could have meant spring, spring, but it was also spring. It was also spring. It was like newly spring. But trap is out. I, I listened to that over and over and over again, and it kept I, was, I kept coming back to Trap is out. We've uh, our studio audience. <laughs> I just want to point out that that's where the Louisiana Tigers were, and they were waiting for the Union to come across that field. Uh, so that would give you. So that's that clip trap stays in there. And trap is out. Trap is out. That that's. I use that a T-shirt. <laughs> no, no, no. The first one we're getting is light it, pop it, be okay. good. That's the first okay. one we're getting. Trap is out. Then trap. Then trap is out. <laughs> It's, it's oddly suggestive. It, it is. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's the name of our rap album. Yeah. Trap is out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Bristol Run covers a lot of area. Yeah, it covers. It, it's not just that. That and it's it's a beautiful spot it's too. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but it has this one great big uh, open open air battlefield, and that was where we came to stop here. And um, again, I would say from the Northern Virginia Roundup, we're going to speak. We're going to be checking in a lot with our respective REM pods because. Bill, we have hits on the REM pod. Is there someone there? Well, I don't even know what to say, honestly. <laughs> we got my recorder there. Okay. That grass isn't going to bother him. So, well, if the grass was setting it off, it would still be setting it off. Yeah, and I've tested with foliage. doesn't seem to really... 
there's someone with us. I just heard a beep behind uh, us too. There's someone with us. Still nothing on the rim pod. Or on on the sorry on the Can you come close to my buddy here? And and make his uh, music box beep? Well I don't have I don't have oh. I don't I don't have anything that's beeping. Oh, never mind. But that orange box, if you were to touch it. Relocate this Alright, who's here with us right now? Maybe not move anything for a minute. Is there Oh let's turn that off. Is there is there someone here with us that wishes to communicate? Can you give us some kind of sign? You really can't see in these clips just how raw we are at yeah. this point. <laughs> but I wanted to, I forgot to mention this to you. <clears throat> right. And I sent it to you. Sent this clip to me. Yes. Now you hear it like, ooh. That's me. That was, I, that was me. Okay. Because what happened was, is as I was walking okay. around with okay. the, as I was, because uh, uh, I remember, and I, unfortunately, I, I have no video of what Mel was doing at that time. But as I was running around, I remember, I, as I was moving around, I saw, woo, because I think what happened is, is I was talking about giving Eddie a nudge, Mel suddenly spiked on the EMF. Uh, and that's why I was like, ooh. Okay. So, that, so that was me. Yeah, that I was, wanted to ask you about that, because I knew it wasn't me. As the shirt on the back I, says, that was, you. That, that was me. You. Okay. That was me. Okay. That was me. This was once known as Phil's Paranormal Fishing Hole. What can you tell us about Cannon Branch? Uh, so T Cannon Branch is a, a piece of uh, historically preserved land. And your happy uh, place. And my happy place, <laughs> maintained by Manassas Museum, right. if I'm remembering correctly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. it's, uh, it's, one, it's so, one of the properties. Yep. So make sure you are getting out there and supporting Manassas Museum in any way you can. They're an amazing organization. We love our friends over at the Manassas Museum. Cannon Branch is, I, if I'm remembering correctly, mm -hmm. the history is a bit ambiguous. It is at ambiguous, At one yeah. point, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, an earthen fort where they would basically dig up the earth and, and, and pile it in the perimeter to build sort of a natural fort but its roots go even further back to oh, yeah. the Neolithic. Prehistoric evidence they found on the place. Mm -hmm. But from what I've also been told by our friends over at Manassas Museum, they said after seeing some of the clips we sent them, they're not going back out there <laughs> ever again. We'll take care of it for them. We will take care of it for them. This. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love and, this and, and if you want to know why Phil loves this spot so much, let me play you this uh, lovely breakdown again. We've got some original audio, and then we have the enhanced audio. So take a look, take a look. I was pretty proud of this clip. Straight out of a horror movie, if I flip the camera, if there's anything behind me. There's nothing behind me. It's fair enough to ask. <laughs> Do you prefer when it gets dark? Straight out of a horror movie, if I flip the camera, if there's anything behind me. There's nothing behind me. It's fair enough to ask. <laughs> Do you prefer when it gets dark? I'm gonna go and start walking again, okay? If you want me to go back to the music box, tell me now. I'll hear you, either through this or in this. It played a little longer there because that was you in the background. Yeah. And I wanted to show the difference between that voice, which I clearly heard, and the commit, which I didn't hear at all. 
which was around the time when I was saying, do I flip this camera or not? And that would, and then it commits. <laughs> right up there was summon her, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, that too, that was good. So your fishing hole uh, has also become almost like a second ball's bluff, if you will. Because whenever we get new gadgets, most of the time we'll bring them out here. It's a good spot to take. It them. is, it is. And so what can you tell me about Paratech? Because the next clip involves uh, Paratech. Oh, yes. The Paratech by a small independent developer. Like, that most, goes like, by most, by like most paranormal stuff. Happy <laughs> Droid, I believe they're based out of Ireland. Uh, they are putting together kind of custom built uh, ITC devices, so okay. the spirit communication devices. So I picked up a Paratech V3, which is very similar in a lot of ways to the Ovulus device, mm -hmm. where it has a word bank. And then there's an app connected mode where there's an Android app uh, that pairs with the device and uh, gives you access to word mode, yes, no mode, and mode called Ouija mode. It has a motion and proximity sensor mode as well, all accessible through the app. Now, it is an Android-only app, okay. which is why I bought that <coughs> $40 Android tablet. Right. So we're going to see this for the first time on, on uh, Old Spirits. We're going to see our, 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 our first use of the Paratech in the field here at Cannon Branch. Where's Phil? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adorable. He's in the trees. <laughs> I'm adorable. Cousin. I have Doris. Hey. Yeah, and then you got the cord. Hold on. And we've had plenty Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, wow. What was that? Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. Do you want us to leave right now? Absolutely. Wow. Wow. I have no idea. And this was one of our early visits. Yeah. And I got two wows. Yeah. Yeah, they got two wows. That was, <laughs> that was definitely a two wow. Now, this last clip from Cannon Branch, I'm gonna to have to go back and put in post another clip, a follow-up clip, if you will, because this is me on my own and I'm, I'm working with GhostTube. This is my first night with GhostTube. Whenever I, I put GhostTube evidence on Old Spirits, we did it with the Candy Factory episode. Yeah, we did. I'm doing it now. Um, I wanna make sure that we have something that can back it up, that we have something that can corroborate it because even the creators of GhostTube have said, don't use this as your sole piece of equipment. Yeah. Use it with other other methods. Yeah. Use it with other uh, data gathering devices so that you can corroborate whatever Ghost Tube is telling you. This Ghost Tube app is quite compelling. But I think I want to use it on another screen. Oh man. Scream? I remember okay. this happening. Don't make me scream. You don't want that. You do not want that. You do not want me screaming. Now, if you want to scream, if you want to scream, go ahead and scream. I noticed I'm walking a little bit. We have a lot of recorders <laughs> running. We'll catch it. <laughs> How about this? We'll scream on three. Ready? One, two, three. Something yeah, else talk too about, about stuff this place. you don't want this thing to say at night. It gets dark real quick. It does. I went by on my camera and it said it scream. Does. You said scream or scream? Scream. Because we heard, some, we heard something that could be um, described as a scream from the woods. Really? Yeah, it, I, we all heard it. You all heard it? Yeah. When, when, did, when did you guys hear it? Oh. Two, three minutes ago? Yeah. That was when I got, the, when, that was when I got scream on oh, this. Really? 
So right now, let's take a look at that EVP courtesy of Phil Rossi. Phil. Did you say Phil? But F I L O. Oh. My name is Phil. There's a lot happening at, at Cannon Branch, and I really do believe part of the reason why is because it doesn't get as much love as mm -hmm. Gettysburg or as Antietam or some of these other battlefields that are out yeah, there. Yeah, but at the same time, you can't say that when we go to Antietam or Gettysburg that there's not a lot happening there either. Touche. Touche. Hey, thank you so much for watching part one of the Northern Virginia Roundup. So for the folks who are getting into paranormal investigation, Phil, how could they get their hands on some of the really cool gadgets that we have out in the field? So we are fortunate enough to be Ghost Stop affiliates. So if you want to get your hands on any of the gear that you saw in this episode or previous episodes, you'll find an affiliate link in our episode description. Click that link and you can hit your shopping spree and be off and running getting some of the greatest gadgets out there in the field today. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in part two. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.